Hi everyone, so today I have a sponsored video for you from Tonic Studios for their new Champagne on Ice showcase. It is really cool. It makes like what looks like champagne on ice or possibly even some beer bottles or whatever you like, you know, a little something bubbly. Um, so yeah, so these items were sent free of charge from my review and of course all opinions are my own and any links in the description box will be affiliate links which means I'll make a small commission if you purchase items through those links. So hopefully you already saw a little peek there on the thumbnail and um, it just is it's so cute. <laughs> like I, I just can't get over how inventive and how uh, adorable it is. So today I'll go you know step by step putting one together. Um, probably do the champagne bottle but like I said you can adapt it for like a little beer bottle or a couple of them because it's going to be smaller the beer bottles than the champagne kind of bottle. Um, but I do want to talk about you know some of the different pieces so we have like this main portion and then you have I suppose this is what curves underneath possibly it might be in one of these other guys but these all look like the champagne kind of bottle or the beer bottle portion of it. There are tags and um, you know, ribbons and all these, you know, Happy Father's Day, uh, party time. This one says, uh, clink, or pop, fizz, clink. I suppose, it, read it this way, then this way. <laughs> we have, a uh, birthday beer, um, some of these inlays, enjoy. Um, lots of different pieces that will help you really flesh everything out for you. Little tags, celebrate, uh, closure, um, like the closing, like a, latch kind of closure kind of piece, champagne, cheers, um, prosecco, how cute is that, little flowers, and all kinds of fun things to just really deck it out guys. So I think what we're going to do today is just jump right into it so we can get this all built up for you. Um, I do get samples so mine looks like this but yours will be in a nice like folder and it has you know different info, um, obviously how to put it together, that kind of instruction, and we'll go over that today. So I like to try to stick to I imagine how they're going to instruct so that you can kind of follow along uh, with a visual that goes along with the paperwork. <laughs> but I will tell you, this largest die, if I'm measuring from here to here, is six and a half inches. And in the opposite direction, it is about five and three quarters, I would say. So hopefully it gives you an idea. And that is the largest, largest die that we have here. And then we have all these different layers and different pieces that we're going to be using. So what I'm going to do is just, you know, grab some papers and um, I always like using heavyweight cardstock, but you know, whatever cardstock you like to work with, that's great. I'll be right back. Okay, so we're going to start with the bucket, the ice bucket, or like champagne bucket, I guess, as um, it were. I just grabbed some black paper, again, heavyweight construction. This is some pearlescent paper I had in my stash. Couple things. So the bucket is going to be comprised of, you know, these, um, I guess they're decagons. And then the side pieces, which are these guys. So, um, decagon mean 10 sides. So I'm going to take this guy and cut from black paper. Excuse me. So the sides are going to come from here. So 10 of these guys. Um, I think while a lot of times I decorate things afterward, but I think for this one I'm going to go ahead and decorate them because I don't know how tucked into the bucket when it has a cute like overlay on the top um, how far in this will be. So I'm going to go ahead and cut these guys too. So I'm just going to do a decorative inlay, I mean, you know, however you like, uh, of this kind of silver paper. So I'm going to need 10 of those and of course when you do this you're going to definitely put some tape so these don't move. You don't want your dies to move around. 10 of them. So I'm going to have those as overlays that I'm going to put on this guy. Um, a few different other pieces that we're going to need. I'm just talking about the very base pieces. We need this guy. And this guy's going to be right on the very top of our bucket. And then there's going to be like a little lid with your champagne bottle or your beer bottles or whatever it is. But when you cut this, you can see there's, it's, if you were to cut this, it's going to be one solid piece right in the center here. So you need to cut it with this one. So not this outer one, but the middle one. And, you know, you can place the other one just to make sure of your placement. But basically, you're just going to center. I mean, if you're looking at it, you can pretty much center where you think that should go. Now, for me, I'm going to cut it from the silver paper because I want the silver to be on top and look really nice and decorative. So I would place this here. Or you can bring this over for placement, right? So we can have a better idea. Like we have that there and this one here. You know, place it a little bit nicer than I'm doing. Place that one. And then put a little tape. And I'm just going to do this real quick. I'll do it nicer off camera. Put a little tape that's going to help you hold this guy in. You know, put some on this outer one and then just remove this middle die. And that way you have a better placement if that's what you're looking to do. So we need one like that. That's the outer, the big guy, and then the second decagon, right? So we need that. And then um, 
you're going to use this larger decagon to make what's going to be under your champagne or your beer bottles like the lid part of itself so this i'm going to cut also from black paper so one of these guys and it's completely it's solid and you need that so we're going to do that and then you also need um a couple so you just need one of that that's the bucket lid but you're also going to need two that are this. you're also going to need um two that are this guy but paired up with this middle piece so you're gonna need two of this and i don't know if i already mentioned that i'm gonna cut that from black paper so just like this again together we're gonna need two of these so run that through twice i'm gonna run both of mine through black paper so a black solid one and also two black ones like this and that's just my preference of using the black paper um let's see oh and then we need a bucket base so i'm going to take this i'm also going to run this through black paper so for me the silver is just like my accent or the cute stuff that i want to accent with but it is part of the um the construction so we have those guys we're going to need one uh just one of the bucket base so the smallest decagon um trying to see if there's anything else oh the bucket lid base so this is interesting because what happens is the lid just comes off and on and it has like an area that's going to tuck in here or in here so you can close it and it stays so it's basically this portion let me find the die for that oh, right here so the bucket lid base and you're going to need i believe five of this yeah because it does two at a time right and it's a decagon so two little sections you need five of this guy so i'm gonna cut five of that guy also from black paper uh, I want to see, you know, I'm trying to do just the very basic portions right now, and I think that'll do it. So I'm going to run these guys through, and we'll start with our bucket, and then we'll move on from there. As I'm cutting, guys, I just wanted you to see what that looked like. So again, the middle decagon, and then that outer guy. So I placed the, this one, just for good placement, removed it, and everything else was where it needs to be. So let's check this guy out. Okay, so it looks like that. showing you that I went ahead and put that beautiful inlay kind of layer on my sections here so we have 10 of those and we have all our pieces I do want to mention there's one more piece we'll need shortly so I'm going to go ahead and cut it this guy right here it's different from this piece with the double right we need five of that this one we need just two pieces of this so I'm going to cut that out right quick two of them out of the black paper or the silver it really is going to be on here but you're not going to really see it so whatever color it is that you want uh, for that to coordinate with but two of those okay and I'll be right back okay guys I went ahead and made those silver just so that they would coordinate with this but that way you can see exactly where they're going and we can get started so again this is just for the champagne bucket itself we're gonna need the smallest deck gone that we had cut out and we're gonna attach these guys so before I attach them I'm gonna going to go ahead and just score in all of the glue tabs towards the inside i don't know if they're all going to go towards the inside but i think they will <laughs> once we get it all done so let me go ahead and score all of them and then we'll start attaching them to this okay so these are all ready to go and basically with this one we're just going to place these on here so wrong side facing this is a nice side and then the beveled edge the one that's skinnier is going to be down here and we're just going to place them all so um a lot of times with the tonic boxes you're going to put this and then you're going to place another one on top just to cover it up but this is going to be on the inside so i suppose that's why they're just asking for the one because you're not really going to see the inside that well anyway because um it's going to make its own little champagne or ice bucket and so if you want to cover that up then that's up to you you can definitely put in a second one so I'm just gonna go around and adding these guys and generally they tuck right in next to each other the way tonic does things with that precision so I always check on this side just to make sure the score line is right there and it looks good so I'm gonna go around and place all 10 and then we'll construct them in the 3d way but these guys are all gonna go around and I'll be right back okay, I just put that last one I'm gonna let that set up for a minute because on this one we are going to glue this and I'm going to go ahead and glue it now because I know this is kind of like a slippery surface so I want to add these so I can just move on when we get there so basically this as you can see this has its own tabs right um, on this portion and then these little tabs are gonna glue to each other down in here but this one is special and it's for 
something else later on. So we need to put a glue tab on that guy too. So basically, I believe this goes on, um, eh, probably like that. That way it looks more like these other pieces. So on each one of these sides, I'm just going to glue this guy. That's the glue tab area, and I'm going to glue it right there at the edge. I haven't bent this because I'm not sure if it's supposed to be bent or not, but I'm sure it will be. I'm just leaving it the way it is. So I'm just lining that up right where I would think that score line is, where these guys would come down. And same thing on the opposite side, okay? So I'm just going to set that up, let those melt together, and then we'll continue working with that in just a minute. While I have this, I'm just also going around and scoring all the score lines. So N and N. I'll let that set up, and we're going to put that together in just a little bit. Okay, so let's put that to the side for now, and we'll get back to this guy. And now what we're going to do is just glue these glue tabs um, up here. So, you know, just pick a spot where you like to start and just adhere those guys together. Again, I always put glue right to the edge. You know, I bring this up, maybe I'll give it a little bit of a zhuzh. I feel like it needs it, but basically we're just attaching these, right? So... Just right on the score line Sorry and just hold it down. Here, emergency vehicle. But anyhow, just hold it down and then we on to the next one. Glue, hold it down. Next one, glue and hold it down and just go around the whole thing. You guys, this is so cute already. Anyway, I always come back and show you the very last one and how I do that. So again, just back down in here, I would just put some glue right down the line. And if you can't quite get it, just kind of give it a zhuzh when you close it up and that'll spread the glue for you and I'll be right back okay guys and once you're ready it looks something like that how cute is that so as you can see these tabs are going to be up here you're going to take one of these little guys that you created the other one's going to help you make the top piece so we'll hold off on that but this guy is going to go under the tabs so you can either put the glue all over that you can bring your tabs up put the glue in there um I think that's probably what I'll do I'm just going to open these guys up Put the glue all in here and then that silver piece is still going to go on top of this so you know get the glue on there really well but you are are going to sandwich it also so not too much worry and then bring this guy in and just pop it underneath and usually once I have one I'll grab maybe a couple of them like these two let them set up and then just keep going around. Right? So I'm just pressing the glue tab into that ring. And all the way around. I'll just do that. Grab the next one. Kind of systematically. <laughs> and then the next one, the next one. Keep going around. Okay? Just kind of holding it down and pinching this in. And I'll be back. Okay, guys, so I put that on there. I will say it's not super perfect. Like, I can feel like this should probably push in, but I did my best to keep this shape once I got here because we're going to top it with this anyway and just kind of eyeball it and make sure that it's going to look nice. I mean, that's going to look just fine anyhow. So just kind of eyeballing that. So now what we're going to do with these guys, we already scored them and all that, is just glue these little tabs to each other. It's going to take a while for this to set up because of the paper being so shiny and all that so I should have probably done this earlier whenever I had done the other part but I'm gonna hold that next tab hold that so it's just gonna close up like that right all around okay guys how cute is this oh my gosh and then we have um this little guy that we just created and this will bend down I just have left it because I don't know why not uh, one of the tips they're uh, sharing there is if you want to use a magnet later like for this top part your lid part to come in. Um, oh, actually, let's say is that supposed to be smaller? I don't know. We'll see. Um, you you can put a magnet in here. Like go ahead and like go ahead and bury it now uh, when you go to put this on. But basically, you're gonna pop this on. Oh my gosh, you guys, and it fits so well and so snug and so cute. Oh, I love it. Okay, so let's see. Just trying to. Yeah, it can be the front. Okay. So, I'm just going to put some glue, right? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> so, again, if you want to put your other bits to help you out, you can definitely pop in. So, 
some other pieces but basically I'm going to pop this on here and just hold that down and look how nice and finished that looks but I'll be right back okay guys I will say from here they're telling you the next thing is to do the handles but since I already have these things cut I'm going to go ahead and put this part together and then we'll go from there so we have that larger decagon we have the other kind of like framed out one that we made ourselves and we have this guy and with this guy we're going to fold all of our score lines with these five and just glue them together to make a frame so I'm gonna score all of them and I'll just do this now just to show you I'm going to do that and I'm gonna glue them together one after the other right and um, we can even oh, glue it together to make the whole Decagon. So I'm going to go ahead and attach them all and then attach them at the end so it makes a framed out Decagon. I'll be right back. I will say as I'm doing this um, is that when we put it together it's going to go into this frame and basically the tabs are going to go out like this so if you want to do that already you can just kind of have them coming out because they're going to glue into this guy. <laughs> but I'll be right back. I just brought it together here to make a framed out piece and then this is going to tuck in here so um, I'll be right back okay guys so we have this frame and this is the nice side where the die went in this is the rough cut side I'm going to have the rough cut side facing up because I'm going to pop this in here and that way when I glue this piece to sandwich these tabs um, it'll just have a nice side and then a nice side underneath too right so I don't know if you want to work with this like a little bit at a time, like go ahead and put some glue, put some glue and pop this in here. Hold this guy in that same area. Something like that. Just for a little bit. Right on the edge of where I scored it. You can imagine it's going to go in like this, right? And then the next one always maintaining your decagon shape so hope you can see on this side it looks really nice and neat a little glue there but other than that it looks really neat and I kind of do this in a way that's one and the other one and the other and that way you're kind of splitting the difference and just making sure everything is good so like this one and then the next one I glue down will be this one and just keep going around till the whole thing is glued in as you go around it'll just start kind of falling in place or you can push it all the way in just to begin with and start getting your glue in there but there you go okay and just one more tip once I get down to the last few tabs I'm just having my surface help me keep that nice and flat okay so I have it turned upside down obviously the glue tabs are back here and I'll hold that down until we can pop this on in the back okay guys so that's kind of what that looks like obviously this glue is going to dry and now we're going to glue this guy to this guy so I'm going to put glue all over this to the very edges you want to use hot glue I always use wet glues just because unless you tear it it's not going to come apart but um so that's my favorite thing but there you go and then we're going to bring this guy over and nice side facing up towards me and just pop that on there and look at that like a little hat <laughs> I'm gonna hold that down but basically it looks like that okay I'll be right back okay, guys, and I turn this over and just kind of massage that just to make sure those are really holding on to each other on the very edge because that's our, where the glue is and I guess we can take this and pop it on here you guys oh my gosh how cute so that's what I was saying if you want to put magnets you could have put some um, between this and the tabs and then here you would put do the same thing like sandwich it in between somewhere so that you would click on if you that's what you want to do or just leave it like this right look at that okay so that is our basic structure um super cute and there you go so that would be the same basically for the champagne or the beer bottles just the the difference is what you're going to put on top um okay so we do want to make our handles i mean if you want you don't have to but uh let's see what this is saying we need this guy and we need four of these and then there's going to be like a little handle holder which is very cute and very interesting it's this guy so we need uh, two of these so I'm gonna cut them from the same silver paper I suppose so um, I mean it'd be cute if we did a couple of different. Well, let's do black and silver so I'm gonna cut two of these out of black two of these from the I'm sorry four of these from the silver and I'll be right back okay, guys, this is really interesting so you have these two you're going to put two of these guys together and then these are the little holder that's going to hold these little like 
rings, which is really just a detail that's so cute. So what you're going to do is bend these in. Now, while they're flat, I will say, if you want to use double-sided tape like they're recommending in the instruction, then go ahead and put some on these larger tabs. See how there's like a little triangle? Not there, but on the rectangular ones. But I like to use wet glues and, you know, that's just what I do. So I'm going to turn all these guys in and not put the glue until I get there. And then these guys you're going to use later. I mean, you can manipulate them now if you want, but let me go ahead and on all these guys, turn them all in and I'll be right back. So what they're showing you is, let's say we have this edge and let's just take another one. And we can glue these guys together now just to have that. But basically you're gonna glue the centers together. So I'm gonna take one edge just to have it ready as like one piece. But you can probably finish that off at the end too. It doesn't really matter. But I'm going to hold on to that again because of this slippery paper that I'm using. I'm going to hold that for a little bit before I move on. And I'll be right back. Again, I attached them there. You don't have to do that. Um, you can also score these first um, or score them after you're done doing this other part. I don't know which would be easier. So we can try scoring it now and see if it gets in our way, I suppose. Right? Um because what we're going to do is glue those together. But first, you're going to glue this other part. So maybe I will go ahead and fold them in now. We could have done that when they were flat too, guys. I just, I'm not 100% sure on that. So basically, you want these center pieces to touch. Okay? So, um, I'm trying to think. I'm going to put glue on these larger ones. Again, you could put them on the other sides. But basically, as this is in my hand, I should... Grab these. Oh, you know what? This is good to know. Now that I'm looking at it, the way I glue this together is probably not the best way because um, I glued it. <laughs> that one. Let's make it so the squares line up with the squares. Or maybe the squares should line up with that little tab. I don't know. Whatever works out best for you guys. Sorry, guys. Don't mean to confuse anybody. Again, you didn't have to glue those together at all to begin with, so that's just something else to think about. Um, okay. So they're showing to put your finger in the loop. You know, I put glue on the one side. So I can kind of see what I'm doing here. If I'm putting, oh. That glue side. You see those touching? I feel like we should do it with the larger and the smaller one. Right? Eh, I guess it doesn't really matter trying to see which glue tabs I should put together. It looks like it's the ones, the larger ones. And you're just going to use your fingers to hold this together, guys. Again, this is a detail that really is going to make the project, but you don't have to do this detail if you don't want to. I'm going to leave these out. I'm really trying to focus on this center so I'm holding two of them together. Sorry. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. There's glue tabs that I'm pushing together. And then I'll focus on these last two in just a second. So let me let that hold on. And then I'll come back and show you the last they two. Start holding on it is much easier. So this one, I'm going to put a little extra glue right in there. Bring that one close to this guy. Hold on to that. And then this last set back here. I need to get this glue tab closer. Push it out there. And then those two. Okay, so I'm just trying to hold these glue tabs so they have pressure touching each other. And I'll be back. This might be funny, but I'm trying to focus on my largest finger, which for me is my thumb, or at least push it down as far as you can in one of your fingers. And now it, it makes all the glue tabs touch each other on the inside. And that'll hold that for me. I'm going to let it set up, and then all you're going to do is just glue this down. So, um, again, I, I wasn't sure if I should fold them first or not or however. But let's wait till this sets up nicely, and then I'll move on to adhering these outer ones. Remember I had started with one already glued together? You don't have to do that. Um, but generally, I'm going to glue them all so they're about the same. So these guys, this set of tabs should go in. And then these last ones will go over on top. Okay, but let's let that set up, and I will be right back. Okay, guys, and I'm just going to work on my thumb the way it is right now. So there's some glue, there's some glue, and let's just get this guy closer. 
and hold it shut. And I'll move on to the next one. If I let go right now, obviously it's going to pop off. But I would move on to the next one and hold it shut and hold it shut all the way around on my finger. I'm not going to remove my finger. <laughs> so glue there, glue there. And I'll be back. Okay, guys, on my last two tabs, I just put some glue and I'm just going to hold them. And again, it's just my paper choice. It's a very slippery paper. It takes a while to set up. But other than that, I mean, it's coming along, as you can see. <laughs> my little uh, ring here. It looks pretty cool. Actually, I can slide it off probably at this point. Look at that. We're going to do the same thing with the second one, okay? And I will be right back. I have the one done. I just want to quickly follow up with this one much faster. You know, I put them both together. Make sure when you're putting them together, if you are going to glue them in one tab, um, that the larger tabs in the center are with each other. You know what I'm saying? So it's not a large one and then this little guy. So two large ones, two large ones, you know, the rectangular shaped ones. I put the glue and I put it right on my hand. Like, didn't try to manipulate it in any way. I just popped it on. So that's my finger is putting the pressure on that glue tab. And then now I'm just going around and holding a couple at a time. And this is like coming together really fast. <laughs> so, you know, you learn with the first one. And now I'm just going to hold that and then just hold these two down. And that pressure I'm applying towards my thumb is also helping with the glue tabs in the center. So I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so let's go ahead and remove that. Yeah, this one came together much faster. Again, I didn't really fuss with the little tabs in the middle. I just put the glue, popped it around my finger, because we're going to have the little other piece that's going to hold it anyway. So there you go, two of those guys. And then we have these pieces. Now, these are very interesting. So it says to add a curve to this portion, because what's going to happen is you're going to fold these in half. There's like score lines. Oh, you can see there and here right so here and right on the opposite side then we have these little guys that we're gonna fold in uh, let me do that while it's still flat this way there we go and this one they're on the curve but you know it's fine this one's flat this one's at the very top or center and then this one's on the other side and basically what you're gonna do with these is hold them like this and glue this guy up around and then the other guy up in the other direction. So if you can see, so we have some little tabs. So glue here, glue here, glue here, here and here. And I'm just gonna bring this up and around. Put that lid down and holding it here. Right, it looks pretty clean. You see that? And then the other one will bring it around just a second. So, I mean, you can do it at the same time as you're holding this one, I suppose. That might help. Hold it all together. Or you can do one and then the other piece, right? So, bring this guy around. All around here. Holding it down against those bottom glue tabs. I know it's hard to see what I'm doing because I'm kind of... My fingers are on the way. But just holding it in that little shape. Okay? And that's what's going to hold this guy to our um, bucket there. But I'll be right back. Okay, so there you have that. And that's what's going to hold this to this guy. <laughs> Isn't that funny? So I'll do the same thing with the second one. Um, in the instruction, they might be showing you to put the glue tabs. Like, go ahead and fold one of these guys in. Put the glue tabs over the top of that one. And then sandwich it with the next one. However you want to get it done. Whatever's easiest for you. That was pretty easy what I did. So I'm okay with that. But however it is that you want to do that. But I'm going to do the same thing with the second one. And I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So we have our little rings and we have our holders for them. And so you're just going to attach them, you know. Again, like I said, this probably folds down a little bit. I just didn't really fold them to begin with or crease them. But there you go. And then these are going to hold on <laughs> like little earrings. So, I mean, you can place it like this. You can place it like that which I think I'm gonna do it more like that that way it looks a little more round and then you just glue them on here so I'm going to put that there let me get some glue on these guys so if I'm just kind of holding it for now put glue there and there and you know good amount but not too much again this kind of slippery paper can benefit from a little more glue but then at the same time you have to wait for that to dry you know the whole time that you're holding it so I'm gonna take that guy oh, and place it where I think it should go on that little flap okay so it's on the flap right pretty much in the center and I'm just gonna hold that down and I'll do the same thing on this opposite side 
I will say while I'm holding this, it has plenty of... You can move this around so you don't have to choose a side or anything. It'll just do its own thing. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, so the glue is still wet, but while that sets up, I can just put it to the side. How cute is that? Oh my goodness. So there's that guy. We already did this portion that's going to sit on top. Now we have ice cubes we can make. We have obviously the champagne bottle or the beer bottles that we want to make. So I'll do a champagne bottle and... You know, a lot of times champagne bottles are like a green color or whatever it is, but you actually have six pieces for the champagne uh, bottle. And I'm trying to see if it's all these. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think it's these six because, yeah, the beer bottle is this guy. If you're making the beer bottle, you'll need 12 of them. Um, and that's if you're making, I believe, two of them. You know, so you'll need 12 of these guys. But... Uh, for this guy, we need this. So these portions. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay? And just one of each. It's going to fit one champagne bottle because it's kind of bigger and it kind of sticks out. So one of each. So I'm just going to run that through some green paper. Um, if you want to do all the decorative areas of that right now, too, as you're working, you're going to need... Um, the little top of your champagne bottle and then um, the cork top or whatever is that you want to do so I want to say let me see which one's the top okay let me figure this out because there's this one here but there's also a few different pieces here so let me try to figure that out for you and then we'll okay, go so from there get this correctly this is gonna be the one this one that attaches these pieces together and if you look at it you can tell if it's die cut and this is cut that's right on the edges so it's this guy you see how this is nestled together this I believe has to do with the um, beer bottle so that if you're doing the little beer ones you can kinda of think about using that but for now it's this guy so I need um, basically just one of these I believe yes just one the champagne cork top looks just like the image. It looks like this. And if you want to make it out of cork or make it look like foil or whatever, I'll probably make mine look like foil. So um, I'll do that a little bit differently. But if you want to do that, you need this guy. So just one of him. And then you're going to need the the sides. They're calling it cork, but it's the top of it. So again, if you want it to look decorative or however. So I'll probably run this through some silver paper also, but you'll need three of this because there's six sides to the champagne bottle. So it has two sections, right? So you need three of this guy and this guy to coordinate together. This can be the same color as what you're doing here. So for me, that would be green. And then we can make ice cubes and decorate the champagne and all that stuff. So um, I think I'm going to leave that alone for right now. They do have these portions like this and this to help you decorate your champagne bottle but let's make the bottle itself and then we'll go from there I placed everything back on here Let me put this to the side for a moment let's talk about the cork or the lid or however this decorative piece um, there is a little area here that's going to be scored and just down over the top that bottom portion doesn't need to be scored it's just if it wasn't glitter paper I cut it from gold glitter paper you would be able to see these pieces and then it folds right in the center too Okay, so these guys I'm going to go ahead and glue together right now because I am using glitter paper and I want that to be ready to go. So we have this here. And then I'll come around and glue it together in its shape in just a second. And then once we've done that, you can put your little uh, shape right on top there. I'm going to let that sit together for a little bit. And then you do have images of this, and I know they a lot of them look kind of similar. They're all very different. So uh, what you're going to do when you have the top piece here is check these guys out. Um, let's start with what is considered the front. And I'll say that because it's nice and flat. You can see that's different from the other ones, right? The other ones are kind of curved in different ways. So let's have that one. And then we have a piece that kind of curves up in this direction. Okay, so it's another bigger piece. You see these last three are kind of smaller. Those are the ones that are going to be in the back because if you can imagine the champagne bottle is going to be kind of tilted like this. So smaller, or shorter in the back and taller in the front. So this is the one that's going to go next to that. Then we have the one that's going to go next to that one, opposite direction, right? And then if we're going to put these together and then keep working with them, we're just going to put them together in like a strip, basically. So for the back portion, we have another one that's flat. Just like this middle one, that's going to be in the middle of the back. And then again, um, this time it's going to be a little concave or curved uh, this way. 
So once it comes around the back, it curves back around. I hope that makes sense. So they are recommending to go ahead and kind of give these guys that little zhuzh kind of thing. You know, to make it more of like the bottle shape. I'm going to go ahead and just play with the tabs on all of them just like this. That one's going to fold in at the end, but we can do that now. And then these are all going to fold in. These bottom tabs are going to glue to this, if you can imagine, right? So I'm going to go around and just essentially turn them all in, just like we normally do anyway. Okay, and I'll be right back. I went ahead and scored all those. Now I think I can play with this one again. Again, that's going to be like this, right down the center, and just make this into its... Now, since these are symmetrical, I mean, you can basically squish it like this and <laughs> make sure everything's good. But um, I just normally hold it. But you can definitely flatten it out. And then at the very top, we're going to add this guy. So I'm doing that now just because, again, I was waiting for that to be ready. Oh, yep. See, that's exactly why, because it's glitter paper. I'm going to take a second to set up. So I'll just leave that there setting up, and we'll add that in a second. These guys, again, we give them a bit of a zhuzh. You can imagine it's going to be something like that, a little rounder at the bottom. And so we just need to stick these guys together. So I'll take a strip at a time. This guy following the curves of the bottle and the edges of the paper. So I have these first three kind of ready to go, holding that down. And then you just follow up the sides of each one, right? So this one, once I feel like I'm ready to kind of move from there, I'll just bring this down like this. And I'm doing this one by itself because it's a little curved and then it's gonna start curving out the other direction, right? Like this. So just follow the curve, do a couple at a time, however, you know, you feel most comfortable. I'm gonna hold that guy. And this guy's gonna come up this way. And again, since this is Nouveau um, Deluxe Adhesive, it grabs pretty quickly. Obviously, it's still a little bit wet. But when you're using like glitter paper or a shiny paper, it's just a wet glue, so it's just going to take a, a little bit longer. But when you're using on something like this, like Craft Perfect, it holds on pretty quick. So I'm going to the next one. And then once I get up here, it's kind of straight up at that point. But I'm just holding on to that guy, and then here we go. And just making sure it's pretty straight up at the top. Okay, so I'm going to hold on to those. And once that one is ready, that's pretty good. I'll move over here. And same thing again, just glue. I like to put the glue on all of it. But if you want to do a couple at a time, you can definitely do that. Just all the way up. And bring this guy over. And match it up. Holding the bottom two or three possibly and same thing just a little bit at a time move up manipulate it so it kind of fits in and I'll come back once we get to the very last panel okay so I'm gonna move from this one to this one then this one and this one's gonna curve around right okay, guys, I thoroughly enjoy making things like this because once you get like you know I did the first few panels got to the fourth one the fifth one and it just looks so cool I, I love it I love when it just starts falling into place so I just want to show you the last panel, same thing. I put glue all the way up. And I'll just work a little bit at a time. So, you know, this bottom one, maybe I put a little too much glue there. And as I get in there, I'll start working this one in, and then we'll come back and do this. Um, what else is going to mention? Oh, yes. So, again, your little filler, you have ice, obviously decorations. There's all kinds of ways to uh, dress this guy up if that's what you want to do. And I was looking at my stash. And I was thinking, oh, maybe glitter paper for the ice would be cute. And I found these two kind of pearlescent, just white, and then like the green one, but kind of like a bluish green. I'll probably still stick with white, but I think it'd be cute if you did like some little light blue um, cubes would be adorable. And whatever else is. So let me continue holding this. And see how it grabs pretty quickly again, because this is craft perfect, so it's porous paper. And once I get up here these last bits. This is not closed up so it's easy to still go ahead and get your finger in there or a pencil or something like that to help you get those tabs together. I will say this is going to be in the back and also you're going to put this on top if you want. I'm assuming everyone's going to put the decoration. 
So I wouldn't worry about it too, too much, but there you go. Um, while that's holding, let's go ahead and manipulate this guy. Look at that. So I'm just kind of getting it into shape. I'm going to put my glue all over the tabs. You can put it on this other portion, I suppose, if you wanted to. And just kind of get it into shape and get this guy right on top. Okay, so I'm going to hold that down. I can pretty much continue on to the next piece on that one, but let me hold this for a little bit and then we're going to just seal that up. I guess I could have showed what I did with that little lid, that little cork top or the decorative part. I put a little bottle on top of it to hold it down so I don't have to hold it because again, it's glitter, it's going to take a little while. So glue, glue, glue. And just kind of tuck this over here and starting, ah, let's get those guys underneath, that's fine. Um, starting down here. And I always start at the bottom. I don't know. Do you guys do that? I feel like that's just, I don't know. But I'm going to hold that and just go up the whole side, you know, as I'm working, holding this one. And once I feel it's holding on, I'll move on to the next area. Keep this tucked in. Not really touching, but just tucked in. And then now I'll go on to the next area. And then kind of push this guy in and start holding that until I get to the top. All right, so that one. I'm kind of holding this guy. I have my hand on the inside and on the outside, helping each other out there. And then same thing when I get up here, just hold it flat. You can even stick a pencil in there or just, even right now, just pushing it. It's already touching. I can see that. So I'll be back. You guys, I am so excited to see this. But yeah, I just put my pinky in there just to hold the last tabs there. And I suppose, to be honest, you probably don't have to put this piece on there because you're going to top it with the other one. But let's go ahead and put this guy on. It'll probably help you with the shape more than anything. So I'm just going to give it a squeeze. Just going to pop that on top of there. Just pay attention to the shape itself. That looks pretty good, and to be honest, I'll probably just push it down like this until I feel like it's set up. You can get your finger down in there. I'll be right back. So, there you go. That is the basic shape, and you can imagine it goes like in there. You guys, oh my gosh. Okay, let's bring it. I had this little bottle just sitting on top of it like that, helping push that down. So, let's see. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm just going to put some glue all in here at the very top and just kind of letting it pour in there because it's hard to get down in there. I guess I could put it on top of this. And any one of these sides, you know, if you can imagine if you're looking at it, just pick the side that looks the nicest. That looks pretty good. That one. There. Go down in there. Give it a push. Let that set up. Oh my gosh, you guys. Of course, whatever decoration you want to go with, you know, let's do that. But let's go ahead and cut some ice cubes <laughs> and then we'll go from there. So I believe this is the ice cube and is it just the one piece? Ice cube times two. Uh, let's see. Okay. Yeah, so for each ice cube you want two of these. So let's cut six of them roughly to have at least a few ice cubes to play with. Um, so I'm going to cut out six of these from that white paper. They do have like a little dimension on them. I mean, you can even use that as stenciling if you want to give them like a little glitter or just some inking, you know, however. But I will be right back. Okay, guys. Sorry. Let me arrange some of this a little different. Okay. So essentially we're going to have that glued on there. goes on the other piece here. And these guys. So basically what we're going to do, I don't know if I want to cut one of them. Uh... Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Sorry about that. I just want to make sure I'm showing this right. So, yes, each um, ice cube takes two of these guys. Let me get a little closer. And um, I'm going to hold it kind of the way they're showing it in the instructions, like that, and then this one, like this. And you want to snip away the one glue tab. So, just this one glue tab on the opposite, like where it's a full rectangle, this guy. You're going to snip that one away, right? We're going to put glue here on the one little triangle kind of corner and then glue that together. So I'm going to let that set up. 
Now you've kind of done our scoring initially, but that's okay. So basically there. And while that's setting up, I'll go ahead and do my scoring of everything else. Glue tabs scoring down. We're going to make it into basically like a, a half of a ice cube. So I'm just folding all these guys in. We could have done that prior to gluing them together, but I'm just going to wait for that to set up. And then down in here also, see, that's kind of why I do my score lines first, because then the glue wants to come away. Okay. And basically you're just going to adhere this into like a cube, but it's half a cube. So again, I chose papers that are very um, slippery. <laughs> so there you go. Just glue all the tabs together, you know, all the ones that face each other. So hold on to that and hold on to this. Maybe I'm going to set it down. I always do everything in the air. And I don't want you to think you have to do things in the air. It's just that's how it works out for me. <laughs> so we have those. And then these four tabs that you have left, the bottom here, are going to glue wherever you place them on here. Okay. So let's, I'm going to do th um, two more. So we'll have three ice cubes. And with these guys, or this guy, there's only one left. We're just going to put glue all on here. Sorry if all of a sudden you hear a storm. It's been crazy out here. Um, and put it wherever you like. So, you know, you can imagine, let's um, bring that back so I kind of have an idea. I mean, if you want it a little sideways or straight forward, you know, wherever it is that you want it. I think like that's cute. Right there would be cool. And then, you know, if we have room for our little ice cubes, so I might only have room for two or maybe three of them. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize I was still closed up. Hopefully you saw everything I was doing. So we're pushing that down and I'll push from the other side just to make sure we're making good contact and I'll finish up making two more ice cubes. Okay. I'll be right back. Okay. guys, Let's put this guy to the side for a moment. Now we could have decorated this and then popped it on. Um, I'll do the decorating afterward, but I just want to show you like your basic construction, right? So then, you know, just take your little cubes wherever they're going to fit. You know, if you want to tuck some more in the back, you know, if you're planning on doing that, obviously you want to take a look and see where you can actually place them. And so just like the other part, we're going to put some glue, like the champagne bottle. And I do like these kind of flapping out a little bit. See how they're kind of out? That way when I squish it down, I know it's touching the surface of wherever I place it. So let's say, let's say that one goes there. And then maybe I'll squish this one here and this one over here, right? And I'll be back. So I'm still holding that piece down, but, um, you know, again, so many ways to decorate all these different inlays and different things. Um, I think what I'll do is probably the little neck area. So if you grab this guy, it's going to help you put your pieces around the sides, right? So you would need, let me see, obviously you have six sides. I don't know if this other piece, do, do, do. yeah, you just need five of those because this piece right here, will be the one that you have in the center. So you have that one piece and then five more to go all around. So five of that, one of this guy. Um, and then I think I'm just gonna put, top it off with like this little guy. Maybe I'll cut it out of some silver paper, bring some silver back. There's also a little um, inlay if you want on that one. And then we have this little guy that I thought would look cute with it. So maybe I'll run this through some gold. Um, and then, you know, you still have, you can decorate the front. There's all kinds of things on here. So I will do that with some music over because I wanted you to see the step-by-step -step of doing all these other pieces. And this is just a very quick and easy thing. You're just going to glue them together on the tabs, right? And just pop it on there. So thanks for watching. Thank you so much, Tonic Studios, for uh, sponsoring this video. What a, an amazing, really special project this makes. I mean, I was thinking maybe like a cauldron, right? You could use it as a cauldron later. But let's just pop that on there and that could be your little um, display I mean how cute is that and I guess you could turn this however you want you know I put it sideways but if you know you just turn it the other way it's gonna look like <laughs> the other direction but however it is look how cute that is and then the little beer bottles I mean it's just adorable so I'll finish decorating I'll have some images coming up for you guys I'll have the links in the description box and I will see you all oh actually hold on I know we like to get some measurements um, I'm trying to see. I don't know if I can really get you a height measurement because it's kind of an awkward. I would say it's almost eight inches tall. I don't think it's actually eight inches tall. I think that's just the way it looks. 
maybe seven inches tall, like from there to here. Obviously this is just a little false top, but the base piece can get you about three and a quarter inches, you know, almost five inches in this direction. So hopefully that gives you some info as far as how big it is. It's a little smaller at the bottom, like three and a quarter, where the top is, you know, basically almost five inches. So you can fit lots of goodies in there. Thanks for watching, guys. Again, the links will be there, and I will see you all at the next one. Bye now.